Howdy folks, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what we're going to do is we're going to put this back together so the fellow who owns the house here could put his ledger on. Generally I've done a video of how, why, and where to place a ledger on the house itself complete with uh, Z flashings and then our counter flashing such as drip screens. On here the fellow wants to put the ledger board on the outside to put a couple spacers so and he's going to use pressure treated so the water goes behind it. We were set to just paper this, and I said, well, gee whiz, if you're going to do it that way, at least let's go with the grace membrane. That way, when you lag bolt that ledger board into the studs here, we're not just going through paper. I prefer to go through a, a membrane. I just come here, and so we pulled this piece off, and because the threshold is a little beat up, meaning it's seen better days, we're going to take this off here, and then we're going to place a a grace membrane on top of here and underneath, then put that back, then this grace is going to go over this paper. What we're also going to do, and we'll show you how we do it, is this stuff here, this Vicor, Vicor Plus, grace membrane, it, all, it, it works the same, it works real well. We're going to figure out where the ledger board's going, then we're going to place this so it, it comes up two inches above the ledger and goes down two inches, and we're going to counter it with paper. That way when they do lag bolts in it, they're lag bolting through this stuff here and it seals those lag bolts and yes I have seen them leak I generally tell folks if it were me I'd put the ledger board directly on the house but not everybody listens to old Kirk because I've, I've been doing this 30 years and I've seen the ledger boards go on top and I've seen them fail in 10 15 years so we don't want that that's why I, I recommend it if you're gonna do it man at least get the Vicor and let's put that down as a membrane then you can lag bolt it all together. So we're going to get started here. We've got to break out as usual. We've got to put this uh, membrane down and we'll show it to you as we get to that stage. Okay guys, we are at the stage where I'm going to go ahead and place this Vicor. I guess Grace makes Vicor. Now they Here's where they had their ledger board originally. It was a six inch ledger board. I advise them to get one, one foot of this because we want three inches above and three inches below. So this point here has got to be where the ledger board starts and depending on the width of it, um, as far as I know, they might go with an eight inch, uh, which will be about down here. We've got to cover this paper and we've got to allow room for whatever deck material. I've seen guys put ledgers on here and then I said, fellas, when you put your wood on it, the door's not going to open. So remember that. I've seen it happen. Okay, granted their ledger is going to go about right here. Now, now that we got all this paper done here, I just stuck some Forta Flash, Forta Fiber right here. And over here on this old window, this is an 80 year old house. So I, I use this grace membrane as an L flashing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel and stick this stuff here. This stuff does take a little bit of time to do, but it's well worth it because it'll seal everything. So we're going to get it started. Now, I'm going to use that wood there as a template. And if it was a hot sun right now, this stuff would stick to everything. It's a real drag to do it in a hot sun. But just for an example, let's see. I'm going to go about right here. And since I'm doing it by myself, because Jay's holding the camera, See, this stuff sticks to everything. All right, let's get going. Here we go. Come on now. All right. The idea, you see how difficult this stuff is to work with in the shade, in the, in the sun. What a nightmare. I'm trying to get these bubbles out. All right, there we go. Jay's going to put the camera down and help me in a minute, but I want to give you an idea of what we're doing with this stuff. And again, I advise you guys, don't try putting this stuff on in the hot sun. I have put at least 20 boxes of this stuff on, and we're talking about three foot boxes. And it's always a nightmare to try to do it in the sun. And it's tough enough in the shade. Where you have a pipe like this, you just Break out your knife, cut around it, then go over here. And this, 
This way, when they place that ledger board, which should be about right here, we're a couple inches above it, and we're a couple inches below it. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue with the bite core from here over this membrane and to the edge right there. I just figured I'd do one little piece to show you how it should be done. All right, guys, now that Jason and I got the bite core where we want it, and yeah, I was right, the homeowner's here, Jason, and he's putting on this trim piece. I asked him what size he's using, eight inch. So we figure about right here to here. So we're above and below. That way his deck material can go here. Now what I'm doing now is, and by the way, somebody might say, well, why didn't you paper everything and then put the, bi the Vicor on top? Because all the Grace products, and I know this from 20 years ago, the rep came out and said, guys, you're supposed to put the Grace on the wood and overlap the paper. That's why we're doing it this way because it is specifically engineered to go over the wood and on top of the paper. So one of those technicalities, we follow all those technicalities. All right, now what we're doing is we're going underneath the existing paper. So, for example, I'm using two layers, two layers, uh, spot glued together. And what I generally do is I'll take it here and I'll fish it under until it hits a nail. Sometimes it'll go under like six to eight inches. That's okay, that's what we want. We'll pop a couple staples there, then we take this paper and so on, cut it here and we continue with that process. We overlap hours by six to eight inches and we just keep fishing it up and we go underneath the existing paper on top of our Vicor or Grace whatever product we're using at the time so we're going to continue that here all right guys we are complete what I generally do I find my studs and staple off into that I'm going to turn this gun off because the compressor usually drowns me Final thing we do is we put this nasty Sikaflex polyurethane caulking in key areas such as windows around here, the tops of windows around this pipe. Over here, even though we have our grace membrane on top, we put the caulking here. Now, two things, the, the fellow who owns this property just left, uh, forgot to tell him, put your threshold on and give us a lip so we can stop the stucco, but he'll do that another day. And then, I, we just all noticed this. Uh, it's got to be done tight for me to have missed it to begin with. Looks like when they put this door in, they, they put the stucco here over the wood with no paper. So once he builds a deck, he's going to rip this part out again. And we're going to come back and redo this because there's just paper here. So all we can do is the best we can with what we have to work with. So we put a little bit of uh, polyurethane caulking around there. A little bit here and any of you folks that says, hey, heck with what Kirk says as far as that membrane goes prior to doing the ledger to each his own, but I definitely recommend this ledger. It'll take me another 10 minutes to tell you stories of people who put ledgers on stucco without the grace membrane behind how many have leaked. So we just don't like to do it. Anyway, hope you learned something from this on how to do the ledger correctly if you're going to go over stucco. My name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching and as usual, see you on the next one.